Yo, what's up everybody? It's Brilli, and today I wanted to give you a quick tip on how I do the realistic automotive glass you've been seeing in a lot of my recent renders. And so this was something that I had a little bit of a challenge at in the beginning. This is one of my renders right here. And the challenge that I was facing was how do I get nice reflections off of the glass, like windows and stuff like that, but not have that really harsh refraction. All right, and so um, this scene here, um, really kind of basic. All I have is a HDRI, which will help give just kind of reflections off the surface. Uh, and then I have just a background object here. I threw a cylinder in so we can see the kind of refraction that's happening through the glass. And right now, none of this is being used. And I just copied and pasted the windshield that I had modeled. So here is the car you can see from that frame that I was just showing you. And this is the windshield from it. So if we get this render going here and we make a material, it's also important to remember to be in path tracing, especially when going for realistic materials, even more so specular materials. And I'll create a material and I'll create a specular material. And let's just simply place that specular material on the windshield. With that specular material on the windshield, you can see that we're clearly getting a lot of distortion. And it's not really something that we can just come in here and say, hey, let's just remove and take that index down. Um, that's good, but now the reflections really look weird. Um, we're just kind of seeing through the object. We're not seeing any of those kind of reflections right now, right? And so if I were to bring this to like 1.5, something that automotive glass would have, but we come down into the common tab of this specular material, this awesome little feature called thin wall. Um, I usually include fake shadows too. Um, it's going to remove a little bit of that realism, but it's going to really clean my render up a lot quicker. And I notice that it's not really something that I notice in the level of kind of realism that I have. And so I usually check this on because it creates faster renders with less artifacting and stuff like that. But anyways, this thin wall is the key to check on. And now you can see that I can get really nice reflections from the surface, but I am not distorting the objects behind it. And what I'll do sometimes, because basically this is still one kind of pixel thin polygon for this windshield, I will throw it into a cloth surface and I'll just give a little bit of thickness to that cloth surface. And basically I'm doubling up on that effect. So you can kind of see it becomes a little bit more kind of opaque and less like see-through. So we have a front side of the glass and a back side of the glass. Um, and the reflections might get a little bit stronger as well. So just kind of play around with those results. That is how I do my automotive glass.